The 2023 Victoria Grandmothers for Africa cycle tour kicked off today, and there are several ways to take part between now and September 10th. Over the years, the annual fundraiser has raised an astonishing $2 million to help grandmothers in Africa raising millions of orphans due to the HIV AIDS crisis. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. With each pedal stroke, these Victoria grandmothers are having fun and making a difference. It feels pretty wonderful to understand that we are changing lives with every, every pedal stroke we take, really, because the money that we send goes a long way in Africa. They're the Victoria Grandmothers for Africa, a continent with 15 million orphans due to the HIV crisis, and they're raising money to help their African counterparts. Instead of farm fields in some places, there's grave sites, and the grandmothers are looking after the, ch the grandchildren because they, they do, they love them. But they haven't got a source of income, so it's really, really hard for them. Go, go, go. This is the 17th year for the cycle tour, and Victoria grandmothers have raised an incredible $2 million over the years. I care about my sister grandmothers. And what I can do is fundraise because... The money that goes doesn't go to a government, it doesn't go to an NGO, it goes to the grandmothers and the grandmother groups. And that's what's so special about this Grandmothers to Grandmothers campaign. All women 55 and older are invited to take part, either riding with the group or separately. It is a wonderful community of older cyclists. The average age in our cycle tour last year was 70. And it was also the median age, so half of the women doing this are over 70. The longest ride is from Campbell River to Victoria, but there are also lots of shorter rides this year. From August 13th to September 10th, we have eight different rides, so people of all different abilities can be part of the cycle tour. For Peggy Frank, who's worked in Africa and lives with HIV, it's a cause close to her heart. I saw so many people living with HIV that didn't have the kind of care and support that we have in Canada. And I saw them struggling and, and yet also thriving. They were just amazing people. The promise that we continue to quote is, we will not rest until you can rest. Because we thought, we can help. We can help with the resources. You're doing all the heavy lifting and the hard work. And for Lori and the other women, they're getting so much out of giving back. I love the cycling, but I love the community of women who care about each other, and I love the cause. I just love the idea that we're helping strong women in another part of the world as well. It makes me feel uh, like I matter too. I think that there's a connection between me and the women in Africa, the children in Africa, and when I do something that helps somebody there, I feel like I've done something that makes the world more connected. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.